Hi everyone, welcome to this new video lecture of AutoCAD. In this lecture, we will discuss how to draw hypocycloid of circle. So for that, I have opened the AutoCAD software and here again we need to go for this new. Once you will click on the new, we will get a drawing sheet here. So in the drawing sheet, again we need to create our uh, drawing page for us. So for that, I will go for that MD setup as our uh, normal common so enter the paper space enable no then enter the unit type metric enter the scale factor is 1 and paper width is 420 and paper height is 297 by that we have created a uh, page to draw the diagram so let's see the question what is given draw a hypercycloid of a circle of diameter 50 mm which rolls inside a circle of diameter 180 mm for one revolution that means one circle is there this circle is the rolling circle actually and it will be rolls over the another one circle the outer circle is this one directing circle and so rolling circle diameter is given 50 mm and uh, the outside circle or the rolling uh, that uh, directing circle diameter is given 180 mm and it will roll only one revolution also draw, draw a tangent and normal to the hypocycloid at a point 50 mm from the center of the dietary circle okay so for that first we need to identify the theta value theta is equal to 50 by uh, 180 into 360 equal to 100 degree so first of all we need to see what the dimension of this so the diameter of this given is 180 then we can consider here 90 mm on line so we'll go for it select the line take any one point and go for the distance of 90 then uh, we can draw a circle over this select the point and go for the uh, circle of 90 and this circle this line I can uh, rotate it why because I have to draw the angle and I have to draw the um, theta from here so let's select this and right click here copy this and give a rotation of over this side or you can give here minus 100 which is the angle of the theta so by that we can create we have created this then remaining other part we can trim it with the help of trim command and next one more line is there which is a diameter of 50 so let consider this side and give a dimension of radius of 25 enter it and draw a circle over here and yeah now the next step is we can divide the circle into number of types so for dividing the circle what we will do let's select this line and give the array command array command will be divide this here we need to select polar and next give the center point of that automatically it will be divided into number of six because it was already given six items so we will change it to eight or you can change it to 12 parts then now uh, this arc we need to draw for each points so what i'll do i'll select this arc and i'll go for offset command then offset command throw and then we can draw one by one again if you want to draw go through the select this arc and again offset select this arc I can throw select this arc join here and one more is there select this will select the center point of that okay so by that we have completed <coughs> that means we have cop copied all this arc in different different points so now we can extend this arcs up to the next line and this one this is already there anything is there one two three four okay over now this arc we have to divide into number of parts 
how many number of parts because we have divided already this uh, circle into eight number of parts so same eight number of parts will divide i have divided part but it is not visible here if i see zoom it also we'll see it only small small points are there here so i have to increase the uh, point style or i have to change the point style here i can select i can go for the utilities then select the point style and change it okay so here i got uh, different eight parts of that uh, arc i have divided into number of uh, parts so next uh, what i need to do i need to select this circle and i can go for the copy command and like select from here and give it to this one okay before that let me give the uh, text for this so we need to uh, give the text for each point so we'll start from p1 this is uh, uh, for angle 0 so we can give here p okay capital p we can give okay then next is uh, 1 2 3 4 we need to give all the points here this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 this is your 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 and this one we can give the center point c and this is your c1 point and this is your c3 this is your c5 c7 one one point i have kept gap for the better looking here so otherwise you can reduce the size of the text you can give all the points okay and uh, o point is there then any other points okay so this is your uh, o point later we'll give other points now i need to move this circle from center point c to c1 i have moved already then i need to see the center point c this circle meets the first curve in which point so this point it is meeting so let give the point and give the point style here next similarly again i need to move this circle from center point 1 to center point 2 so this is the center point two. so i need to see i need to check it where it is meeting this is the meeting point so again i'll give the point style and i'll meet here this one okay similarly again i need to uh, move this circle from c2 to c3 point so again i need to check it whether this circle meeting the third arc in which point so this one similarly again select this circle I repeat the same process for each center point and point style yeah. next similarly yeah. so fifth arc is there which one third and fifth in the same one yeah now you enter select this then again move this circle from c5 to c6 center point 6 so center point 6 is nothing but which one second and sixth this one so p1 again circle need to move from the center point 6 to center point 7 then check it which point it is meeting okay and finally the center point uh, c7 to c8 and obviously it will meet on the top of this now this is all about your meeting point all this point what we have received here now finally we need to join all the meeting points what we have received here so that one we can change the color of this and we can go for the okay first let us draw this <coughs> so we need to select the spline and starting from here p point then first one point then this is the second third and fourth fifth sixth seventh and this is your eighth point now while closing this let me check it whether it is coming straight or not then i can close it now now this one i can increase the thickness of this this increasing thickness we can do in two methods one by selecting the layers here and giving increasing the thickness here it is not visible because line weight setting display weight is not there so now it is 
uh, thickness is increased or else or else we can select this right uh, type p e common p edit do you want to turn into the one level yes specify the uh, precision let one and select the width and no shape okay by that also you can select so <coughs> we'll give in our this one this method 30 and go for the line word setting display line word setting okay okay so this one is more feasible here if some systems it is not working we can go for that command p command now these points we need to again mark it actually the marking you need to be done again single line text then here we can select an angle 0 and here we have to give like p1 p2 and this is p3 and this is p4 and this is p5 and this is here p6 and here p7 and finally p8 okay so all dimensions are completed now dimensions not completed dimension we need to give it here so let's select the dimension uh, go for the diameter select this diameter and check it whether 50 or not yeah it is 50 then other dimension we can go for the aligned select this point and p point check it whether 90 or not yes 90 is there and one more dimension that is your angular dimension this line and this line 100 degree so this is all about the how to draw the hypocycloid in the autocad and uh, that tangent at a normal we can uh, like previously how i have drawn the tangent and normal same similar method can be followed okay so i hope all of you understood how to draw a hypocycloid in autocad and uh, tangent normal also similar method what we have drawn for the epicycloid that uh, epicycloid and cycloid just we need to select a uh, arc from here or say how much distance is there 50 mm then you need to draw a circle of 50 mm on this then we can uh, meet the point on the curve what we are getting here then select the point and draw a arc of 25 mm then it will be meet in the center line then draw that line and uh, draw it normal and uh, draw another one tangent to the normal line so this is all about how to draw the epicycloid and sorry hypocycloid and the tangent and normal for this even you can try also for this uh, circle and how much is given 50 yeah now it is meeting see here 50 point is covering here on this point so give a point of this point style and this is the point style is there now uh, by keeping this one this one uh, give 25 now see now this line this circle we can delete now not record because we got the point here then after that we have meet the uh, center line the center line is meeting this circle also not required now you can delete it it will be confuse you so this is the point again give the point style here okay now we need to join actually line this one and we can extend this line we can extend again okay or else we can stretch that line up to the okay so then from here again we need to draw the from this point we need to draw this line so this is your normal of the hypocycloid now make it highlight and 
this one you can extend in the straight okay and now the circle is not required so we can delete the circle now this one I have to draw so what I'll do I rotate it and copy and rotate now I'll go for it how much 90 degrees approach 90 degree rotation now extend this line in the same way or you can keep the as usual what we got so this will be your tangent now this is your normal and this is your tangent of the object so i hope all of you understood how to draw the hypocycloid and how to draw the tangent and normal for this and uh, one more thing don't forget to keep the uh, text for this again 3 enter 0 enter so t and here t1 or t dash something we can give no issue and this is your n and similarly n1 or n1 dash okay so thank you all of you if you are any, having any kind of doubts you can give the comment on the comment box so i hope all of you understood thank you